When all of the pieces are cut out, it is time to flatline the bag body. Find the bag body with the twill flat lining pinned to it. Unpin the layers and press each layer flat using the iron. Place the two layers on the table with the wrong sides facing up. The lines should be visible on the flat lining. The two pieces should be flat and in line. The edges of the fabric may be slightly different. It is more important that the two layers are flat. Starting in the center, pin the two layers together. Place the next pin about four inches or the width of your fingers apart. Alternate the direction of your pins. Continue pinning in this fashion from the center out until you create a grid of pins. Be sure the two layers stay as flat as possible. After creating a grid of pins across the entire piece, add a few additional pins along the stitch lines. Now the strap placement lines should be thread traced. The thread tracing will be done by hand. Use a hand sewing needle. In your kit is a package of size 6 milliners needles to use. Thread a hand sewing needle with a single thread of sewing thread. It is best to cut a length no longer than the length of your arm. Do not tie a knot. Find the end of one of the strap placement lines. Starting on the wrong side of the fabric, push the needle down through both layers of fabric right on the line. Travel forward about a half an inch and come back up through the fabric right on the line. Pull until about three inches of thread remain. Create a tailor's tack to secure the end. Go back down just in front of where you went down the first time and come back up just past where you came back up the first time. Pull until the thread is taut. Continue forward, going down through both layers of fabric, traveling about a half an inch and coming back up, traveling about a half an inch and going back down. This is a running stitch. Continue stitching to the end of the line. When you reach the end, create a tailor's tack by going down just in front of where you went down last and back up just behind where you came back up last. Pull until the thread is taut and cut the thread, leaving about a 3 inch tail. Repeat this on the other strap placement line. Now use the sewing machine to flat line the two layers together. Set the sewing machine to a stitch width of zero and a stitch length of four with the needle in the center position. Line up the edge of the presser foot with the stitch line. This will create a stitch a quarter inch from the stitch line into the seam allowance. Put the presser foot down, hold the two threads for the first couple of stitches, and stitch along from one edge of the fabric to the other. Stop and remove any pins in the path of the presser foot. Do not backstitch at the beginning or end. When you reach the end, check that the needle is in the upright position, lift the presser foot, and pull the work towards the back.
cut the threads. Turn the work and stitch in the same manner down the next line. When you reach one quarter inch from the interior corner, stop, walk the machine until the needle is down, then lift the foot and turn the work until the presser foot is lined up with the next line. Put the foot down and continue sewing until the next corner. When you near the corner, you may want to stop and walk the machine for the last couple of stitches. When you have reached a quarter inch from the corner, with the needle down, lift the presser foot, turn the corner, put the presser foot back down, and continue sewing until the edge of the fabric. When you reach the edge of the fabric, check that the needle is up, lift the presser foot, and pull the work towards the back. Cut the threads. Continue until all of the edges are sewn. Remove the pins and press the layers flat. If there is any excess on either side, determine which side or sides to seam rip. Press, repin, and stitch those sides again. You want to solve any issues now before assembling the tote bag any further. If the outer fabric has been attached with too much or too little give, it can result in a saggy or pulling outer fabric that is visible when the tote bag is finished. When you have finished the flat lining, fold the bag body and set it into your bin for later.